Hi guys, welcome back to Nat and Essie Craft. Today, I will be teaching you how to make the simplest form of a friendship bracelet. Once you know how to make the simple stitch, there are endless opportunities to make so many different designs. And on this channel, we will be showing you them all. So don't forget to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to Nat and Essie Crafts. That way you can learn how to make some fun designs. And in this video, the most basic friendship bracelet. To get started, you need four colors. Cut about four feet of string. You want it to be longer rather than shorter. And then we tie a knot two inches to three inches from the top. And let's go ahead and tape it to the table. Separate the strings in the pattern you want. We are working our way from left to right. This here is called a forward stitch when we go this way. Later on, when you get a little bit better, there will be another stitch called the backward stitch that goes in this direction. A forward stitch always means that you're starting with a string on the left and the string will end up on the right. So here's how the forward stitch looks like. Place your string over the following string, left to right. Place your fingers inside, grab that string, and pull it through. Since we are making a knot with the string from the left, this one will be loose and the one on the right will be tight. If you accidentally made the right one loose and the left one tight, you can see the loop changes and it becomes a different color. So whatever loop you're making, hold the other one tight. You will do two stitches on each string. So over, go underneath, grab it through, hold the yellow tight and pull tight. Okay. Now the white string is on the right hand side of the yellow string. We're going to do the same thing now with the orange, still making white knots. Over, grab in, one, two. By making the forward knot going over and under, you will always have the white string end up on the right hand side over and under, over and under. We now have worked the white string all the way from the left over to the right. So the next string we will be using is the color yellow. Since yellow is our loop, we're going to go over and tight, over and tight. Again, we're going to go over and under, but not this way because the string is on the left hand side. So we're going to go over from the left and under from the right. One, two, and again. One, two. Now we've worked the yellow one all the way over to the right hand side. You can see closely that we have three stitches for each row because the yellow has gone over three colors. Same thing, we're going to go over and under, over and under. I'm going to show you a little bit faster. You can now actually hold your strings in your hand to move them out of your way. Over, under, over, under. Okay, so here are some mistakes you can make when you're learning. Since we are going from left to right, you're going to go over from the left and under from the right. A mistake people make 
is instead of going from left to right, if you're, they go right to left. This here is a backward stitch. That's something you'll use later when you make the chevron design, but for the straight candy cane, you're always going to go left to right. Pick your next color, and you can see exactly which one's next because they separate nicely. Over, and I'm gonna show you one more. Over. Okay, remember, always keep the knot that you're using tight, otherwise you separate it. Otherwise, you make the other color the knot, and then it just looks messy. So, up close, here is what we have so far. The front looks like a pretty knot, and the back looks like you can see the two knots that you make. Here are just some color combinations I made for this simple bracelet. Let me know in the comments if this helped you or not. Also, don't forget to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to Nat and Essie Crafts for more fun videos like this. Now it's time for you to move on to a thicker bracelet, or I will be adding the link to the chevron bracelet, which is the next advancement for you to learn in friendship bracelets. I also have video tutorials for some of these other ones. Once you know how to make the chevron, and the candy stripe, the rest of them will be super easy to make.